Meteorologist Lauren Casey here now yeah. with what was an otherwise quiet day in the yeah. Delaware Valley. That's, not bad. Right, not bad. A beautiful day today, but that steam storm system is going to be impacting us tonight. Of course, we don't have the dynamics in place to have that severe weather, thankfully, but we will have some periods of heavy rain, and you might even hear a few rumbles of thunder, especially late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But getting a live look at Bethlehem right now, all is quiet and still some snow on the ground. But as we head into the next couple of days, that snow, it's going to be out of here because we do have more mild temperatures on the way. But storm scan three showing us a quiet conditions, just some high level cloud cover building in. But we will see that cloud deck increasing pretty rapidly over the next several hours in advance of this. The weather system that is going to be impacting us a very potent system. You can see that comma shape indicating that mid latitude cyclone is very well developed. The same system bringing severe weather currently to parts of the south as it did earlier in the day and still some tornado warnings in effect for portions of the south. Temperature right now we're chilly and the rain overnight tonight will be a little bit chilly until the warm front comes through tomorrow morning. We're at 44 degrees in Philadelphia, 45 in Allentown, 31 sub freezing in the Poconos and we will see some wintry type precipitation to the far north and west talking about the Lehigh Valley, Berks County and Poconos overnight tonight with some of this moisture elsewhere. We'll just be dealing with liquid rainfall temperature change over the last 24 hours though. We are more mild on the order of about nine degrees in Philadelphia, up 10 degrees in Allentown, up 11 degrees from this time yesterday in Reading and that warming trend is going to continue our high temperature yesterday 41 degrees our forecast high temperature for tomorrow 57 doesn't that look nice and we'll reach that after all of that rain moves out but in your hour by hour forecast over the next several hours temperatures falling back to upper 30s and then remaining pretty stable throughout the overnight period as that rain develops so rain falling with temperatures right around that 40 degree mark heavy rain takes us into the early morning hours so if you do have plans late tonight bring along that umbrella but we do have a winter weather advisory in effect overnight tonight for the Poconos and Northampton County goes into effect at midnight runs until 11 a.m tomorrow morning for periods of sleet, snow and freezing rain. We could see a glaze of ice in these areas in these higher elevations and up to a coating or even two inches of snow. Future precipitation showing us as we head throughout much of the evening dry conditions and then that precipitation shield starting to overspread the area as I mentioned at the top of the show 11 p.m. Midnight one in the morning spreading from west to east. So really by one in the morning most of us will be seeing rain coming down again Lehigh Valley portions of Ber Berks County maybe even even our very far northwestern suburbs, Poconos, will be dealing with wintry type precipitation throughout the late overnight period. Then that changes over to rain for most of us, but maintaining snow and this chance for sleet and freezing rain in the Poconos elsewhere, just dealing with rain. Some of that heavy at times, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, especially closer to the coast. So we deal with that into the nine o'clock hour, pretty uniform and steady rainfall. And then thereafter, just a few lingering showers into the lunch hour, and then we dry out as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But we we could see some pretty significant rainfall totals across the area, pushing an inch, an inch and a half, especially to the south of the city as we deal with this rain event overnight tonight. But the rain's going to clear out as we head into the afternoon tomorrow, and we should turn over to some sunshine and our sunset tomorrow, not until after the seven o'clock hour with temperatures in the upper 50s. Whew, it's going to be a nice end to the weekend tomorrow. Then as we head into the upcoming week, temperatures take a bit of a tumble on Tuesday. 44, though, that's not too bad. And then we're seasonable once again by Wednesday with some 60s possibly by the end of next week. You're out doing yourself. I know, right? Lauren like Casey. Thank you so much, Dan.